Well, what do we have here? I was looking around inside my garage and I found a oil filter box that had this in it. I thought, what is that? And I thought, hey, this is one of those Fram core filters. Now, this says Fram and it's painted, well, it's not quite the Fram orange, but it's close. This is not actually a Fram filter. It's actually an e -core, which is basically one of those SuperTech filters. It's just kind of reconstituted. This came off of that, I think this came off of that Honda when I bought it. It says Fram Group on it, but it doesn't say TLE either. Usually these will say uh, TLE rather than ACC. The TLE stands for Tire Lube Express, which these are the filters you get uh, when you go out and get your oil changed at Walmart. So if you're wondering what kind of filter Walmart uses, this is what they use, the Fram Core filters. There's the writing there on the top. So let's get this cut open. Try out my new tool again. All right, got her open. So I'd really had to fight with that one. Actually, I got a lot of oil on the shop floor here and uh, these are brand new concrete floors and uh, I definitely don't want oil. So I had to clean up this stuff real quick. Uh, rubber gasket. hasn't hardened up too much with use, so that's promising. That's not too bad. There's the base plate. All nasty and greasy oily itself. Lots of holes there for it to get through. And here's a surprise. A silicone anti-drain back valve. And uh, it still seems to be uh, pretty flexible after all this use. There's a name on here and it says Parker and the 322. Hmm. Or if that's somebody that's making those silicone molds for them or what? I don't know. Let's uh Ooh, this is gonna get messy. Here's the filter. You see that metal crimp there on the end. Paper end caps. The filter media, there's there's not a lot of pleats, but there's a pretty decent amount. But they're all, they got the summer teeth syndrome. You know who I'm talking about? Some are here, some are there. Look, they get real thick and thin and through there. Uh, the good news is I don't see any freaking uh, holes or anything in this, so it hasn't failed. It's got a metal center tube there. And it seems to be pretty stout. Hmm. Let's uh, see what else we got in here. Oh, well, there you go. It's got another stamp steel piece. Just feeling this with the gloves. I don't feel any sharp edges or burrs on the steel stampings of this, but you got another emergency release valve. This thing seems to be a little, a little cock stiff, if I'm honest. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of resistance and it doesn't really open very smoothly. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really having to push to open that up. Uh, that might be because it's used, but I don't know. So there's that. There's the bottom of the case covered in oil. Let me just uh, drain that over here real quick. There's the inside. I don't know if those are deposits. Yeah, it's like a, I bet you if I got magnet in there, I'd get some of that stuff out of there. So all the bad stuff kind of settled there at the bottom. This is about a 5,000 mile oil change on this car. So that's how long it's lasted. I'm not gonna do a, a case thickness test on this one because uh, I'm not getting my caliper all oily and I'm not making a mess in this damn place. I honestly just found this. I thought, oh, we'll do a video on this too. So that all sits in there like that. And there you go. 
And I'm now going to throw this right into the art bin because I do not want this in there anymore because it's covered in oil. And there you go. Take care, everybody.